Hello and welcome to Utopia Restorations. I'm Will and you join me in a very hot workshop as it's 32 degrees outside. Today we're going to be transferring Joe's TDCI into a bowler. That's what I'm going to do. So here they are, the boxes of Joy with the parts. So I'm going to open some of them up and take you through them and show you what we got. So here we go, going through the boxes. They are actually all labelled, which makes things much easier for us. Um, so here you go, 90 rail mounts. So I'll show you the rails as well. So we have useful instructions, which we very much enjoy. And then get some of them out. As you can see, this is the hardware that you need to fully mount it. And look at that. Lovely welds, stainless steel. So lovely welds, stainless fittings, and been powder coated. So that is not going anywhere. And look at the size of them. There's a proper bit of kit for a mount. If you know some of the other ones, they don't have this. And as well, proper kit, proper fixings, all stainless, spacers, all powder coated. Wonderful kit. I'll show you the next box. Next box is the laser lights. Now, these are particularly bright and particularly cool. So one of the things, of course, whenever you're doing lights, as some of you will know, is wiring harnesses. So I'll show you the lights first. These look fantastic. And we've got the ST4s, which are very cool. Um, these just are the running ones, wiring kits with them. And then you can see the difference on the back. So there you can see the range on there. And if I actually have a look, they get up to 500 lumens, which is pretty bright. So yeah, these are going to be fantastic. Got two of these, the other one, and then you've got the wiring harness. So, wiring harness from Bowler, actually correctly made. You've got all your connections there, so it shows you how far they should be. You've got your wiring relays, just plug in for DLRs. Comes with a switch. We are going to be changing this for a mud stuff switch, which Joe is bringing with him. And you've got the relay in there. And same again, I think it should be fairly straightforward for fitting. You've got your fuse there and you've got a live. So it depends where you want to plug it into, but we'll read to all the instructions on these and make sure everything's correct. So yeah, again, nice and easy and high quality. You can feel on the loom. That's not going to degrade over time compared to some cheaper Chinese ones. Next box we have here is... It doesn't actually say on it, to be fair. So I should check that before steering guard. So in the steering guard we actually have the instructions for how to mount it onto the bumper, which we do have a bumper for this as well. They are very detailed, which I do like. Um, makes it quite straightforward and quite simple to do. So more detail is the better. The same again if you look at this. All powder coated and you can see it's quite a thick powder coat that is not going to be degrading anytime soon. Stainless hardware as usual. Here actually is great. You do have the brackets to install separately. So I'm considering one of these for my Defender at some point down the line. I would like to get these done in yellow, but as you can see, they are red. So you could easily just get those powder coated again or paint them on top of the powder coat. Um, yeah, big, big bit of kit. I don't think there's any worries on that. I think some of the hardware has fallen out, so I'm just going to be careful. Make sure we don't lose any. The same again. Fantastic finish on that, and that is thick as you like, so that will be protecting your steering. Next box is slightly bigger. So, in the camera, these are the side rails. Um, big box, which is unsurprising, so a big part. I'm actually just going to get one out. You can see why the mounting kit is sent separately, which is quite useful. So you don't get any scratches on your rails. Have a look at these. Well packaged too. I'm going to rather have it nicely packaged. And look at these. So these are serious bits of kit. They are, of course, made by Bowler. I do believe you can actually use that as a rally mounting point if you need to use it for jacking. But yeah, these are, again, very solid and very durable bit of kit. And finally, but definitely not least important, possibly my favourite part, which is the biggest, 
tried to get it actually in the screen with a bowl of umper. Now, this one again is very well wrapped. But have a look at this. Now, I, I'm an art between this sort of style and the rally style with the high flex. To be honest, this style does have the bowler logo, which the other style with the high flex, although it doesn't, you do sort of want people to know that you do have bowler parts. Same again, the world's on this. Amazing, high level of powder coating. The dimples, I think, are very cool and definitely give it a much more aggressive look. And so we're going to be getting these on Joe's and the old parts off in the bin and these new bits on. Again, looking fantastic. I'll show you a few of them. These are the blue ones and we've got if you're a Land Rover lover, if you just like old motorbikes or if you're into any sort of cars. We've got Venture in Weights which on the front is embroidered. We've got Old is Gold which is always very true. With the Valor set, Old is Gold on the front. Road Rally Race. The three disciplines that are the best. And buy more cars because you always need that in your life. So yeah these are online and in store. I'll tag them in the video and check them out below in the description. So just got these two on. This bracket here goes through with the old bolt and we've got a new bolt to go at the top. You do have to pass the dampener through the hole there, which sits very nicely. That looks a little low just because that rear bolt's not in at the moment. I'll get that in. You can see the blue blocks, blue Loctite there as well. So I couldn't get this bit on film, but we've got the two nuts in there just to get the first bit of the garden. Just to give you an idea of the overall look. And we're going to be putting more bolts to secure it and the bumper's going to be on 
and we're going to be obviously getting the laser lights up in here. So just test fitting this with all the fixtures and fittings and then I'm going to get it all tightened up and then get the bumper on and then we can work onto the lights. So here you go, it's now actually on to give you an idea and we'll show you when the bumper's on which should be quite shortly. But you can see this is a big bit of kit and you can see why they've got the mounted brackets on there. It's not going to be going anywhere. It's as solid as you like. Oh, what size are they, Jay? 235, 16, 85. There you go. So they're 16 inch ones. There's the original ones underneath. Just pick these up, get them done down the road. Put the rolls away. They are looking mega. So, yeah, we'll get these on. Do a time lapse of it and show you what they look like. These are new bad boys. So there you go, after a bit of trial, the seal is now finally off, ready for the new ones going. We're going to get the other side off and then get the new ones on. So here you go, bumper is now on and one side is high. So we've got one final one, but it can give you a bit of an idea of what it's actually going to look like with them on. Fantastic. There you go, first look. It's definitely looking boxier somehow. I think it's the 16 inch wheels. Here you go, to show you how structural it is all the way through the frame there and then to the other side with a big nut on it. So then you will actually be able to lift from this. Same as this one, straight onto the bulkhead through there. So again, we'll actually have two new lifting points, like a rally car. You're just holding this in place. This is what it looks like. And these have caps on them, so you can take them out and then put something in to lift it. So now we've got the wiring harness up here. And Joe's head, sorry. And we're just trying to figure out, no instructions. It's fairly simple. Essentially, the wires need to go to the box, but then the cable for the light is a little short. Sorry, that's just a Ferrari leaving outside. So we've got the box in here, and then the plan is to have the servo in here. Not the servo, apology. Have the relay in here, and then have the wire under the matting and going up to here, where I have a new switch. Here you go. We're getting close to the install. So this is the new light, which is going to be going in here. Uh, we've got all the harness in there, and then we're just running the wire through underneath here. It's coming out the bottom. It's going to run through, which is the perfect length to fit this. So yeah, it should look really cool. In two days, hard work, blood, sweat and tears. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. And plate down there, laser lights are on and the guard is looking very aggressive. And then you've got the wheels. Very chunky and looking great. Side steps down here as well. Beautiful. So we'll get it out of the workshop now, get it pulled back, give you a full walk around and show you everything. So here we go, out of the workshop on Sunday, all done. Looks absolutely awesome. Definitely much more aggressive look than usual. With the tyres as well. Yeah, fantastic.
So we've thoroughly enjoyed this install and the fantastic parts. We'll be showing more videos of this one out and about. And if you are interested, we do have a TDCI versus TD5 video, which is versus my one. So yeah, this is Joe's 90, now done with all new baller bits, ready for some more upgrades in the future. If you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week in the next